Well, Pete Bodfils has had a front row seat to Dodgers history, throwing batting practice to countless legends of the game. It was a dream job that few could even script, and Pete recently took me on a trip down memory lane. This is the backdrop to a baseball dream. Pete Bonfils, thank you for having us here oh, today. So glad you guys were able to make it over and I could share it with you guys. You have lived a baseball life unlike any other. <laughs> Tell me about how you came to be and got introduced to the Dodgers. And I wound up playing 11 years in the minor leagues and when that was over, uh, Mark Cressy called me in 82 and asked me if I wanted to come out and throw batting practice. So I worked from 82 to 2018. And the rest is history. And the rest is history. And I had a lot of fantastic, great memories along the way. I knew early on that uh, I had something really special. And if I didn't screw it up, you know, and I, I, I did a good job and took it seriously, let's face it, batting practice is not rocket science, right? The difference is you're out on the mound at Dodger Stadium and then Manny Ramirez steps in there or, or Jim Tomey or Mike Piazza. You worked a full-time job in addition yeah. to this. So yeah. This wasn't your full-time job. This was something where you clock out, you clock back into Dodger Stadium. Yeah, I, I, I was an account executive for a distilled spirit and wine wholesaler that was we wound up being in Tustin. I'm, I'm working at a desk job in sales and then uh, you know, I'm throwing BP to guys making $10 million a year. So uh, I knew I had something special, like I keep saying, and uh, I wouldn't have given it up for anything. Have you ever calculated how many games you threw BP or how many pitches? Yeah, yeah one, one day I put a pencil to it. I, I, I had thrown like 1,715 innings in the minors. Then I did the 37 years, 81 games, came up with close to 700,000. <laughs> these are the guys that you threw to, right? A lot of these guys, yeah, through the years. You know, Fernando Valenzuela, even Kershaw and Hirschheiser. This guy here could hit a ball as far as anybody. Who's Yas that? Yasiel Puig. Oh my <laughs> God, could he hit a ball? Here's a guy who just went into the Hall of Fame, Adrian Beltre. I got to throw to him, too. What are some of the other things that stand out as we look at this just mecca? I've got a collage with all of Mickey Mantle's uh, home runs from the World Series and an autographed picture. 59 and 55 championship teams. First wow. and only one at Brooklyn and first one in LA in 59. They're all autographed. I see Piazza, I see McGuire, I see Torrey, I see Coach Prime. <laughs> Prime time. Prime time. <laughs> yeah. Dave Roberts. Dave Roberts. Being the baseball nut that you are, there's part of you that would have liked to throw into Shohei Otani or oh. Mookie Betts or you know this this new era of Dodger baseball, no? Yeah, having thrown to a lot of previous Hall of Famers, but the only regret now is not being able to throw as I would have loved to throw into Shohei. Just to hear the ball come off his bat and see how far he could hit it. That would have been fun. But you know what? I have no regrets. Yeah. I I, I had a great run. Pat, I, I regret not asking him for a couple of bats for you and me. I don't blame <laughs> you. you. Know? Boy, that, that's some really priceless memorabilia. Oh, yeah. Priceless memories, too. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you, Chris. You got it.